I'm in Macomb County on Hall Road. They're putting French drains underneath the new road. And there's a lot of money being spent and they're doing it the right way. Now the fabric that we use in our French drains, we always try to educate our clients and tell them, look, you don't want to use a landscape fab fabric. A landscape fabric does not drain. Weed barrier, fabrics that are meant for, you know, structural strength behind a retaining wall, things like that. They're, they're not intended for a French drain. When you have a DOT certified and approved fabric, it's not going to deteriorate. That's the problem with these thin fabrics that guys tell you to use. They just biodegrade and break down. They're junk in no time. So we like to use a four ounce in high flow applications and an eight ounce in low flow applications. The eight ounce obviously is a heavier fabric. It's gonna last lifetimes, generations. You can see the guys putting this in. This is a really big system. This is a six inch system we're replacing. We're gonna use our corrugated pipe in the six inch to replace it. We're gonna set it right on the fabric. This way there's not gonna be a bed of stone holding water underneath our system. Iron oak, tree roots, shrub roots are not going to take this system out. When the rain event is over and this pipe is done moving water, we're gonna be right at the bottom of the trench. There's just gonna be a trace of water in the ribs of that corrugated pipe, just a trace. That pales in comparison to PVC, where you have four inches of stone underneath it, and in all the void of that stone, this is holding water. If you cut a trench in clay, and you put sand or stone, drainage stone, in the bottom of that trench, it's gonna hold water. Well, here's a nice little diagram for you. This is meant for, like this diagram here was done on a road construction scenario so they show a pipe and they show a burrito wrap and then they show all the native soil they got a magnifying glass and they're zooming in on the fabric so you got your drainage stone on the left you got in the middle of that magnifying glass the non-woven geotextile double punch fabric and then you have your soil on the right side of that magnifying glass now this is immediately after construction so that's how it looks now it's not going to perform its best it's going to perform, but it won't perform its best until all the sediment washes through this double-punched fabric. The reason why our fabric works better and better and better is because as time goes on and more sediment washes through the non-woven geotextile double-punched fabric, the better the soil filter zone that is formed becomes. This soil filter zone that forms between the non-woven geotextile fabric that's double punched and the native soil. That is key. Our fabric works better and better and better. Each and every year, the drains work better. As the turf growing on the fabric roots through all the holes in our fabric. That's why we have it punched twice. As the development of roots grow through our double punched fabric with two different size holes so that you can get those little roots in there that are a thread and they can expand and keep that hole, that punched hole in the fabric that we use so that water is free to flow down it. This is four ounce fabric. Look at that. Nice, huh? Really good shape after 10 years. I mean, I really had to saw through that with a sharp blade knife so that I can peel this back and unearth this fabric, this 10 year old fabric. You can see how clean it kept the French drain. You have the voids that move water open so there's no dirt, no dirt migrated into this French drain system. It's probably cleaner than the day we put it in because the dirt washes through the inlets. 
So you can see this this stone is cleaner than than it's ever been. Honestly, since it's seen daylight, it hasn't been this clean, okay? So we unearthed it, we exposed it, there's no dirt in it. The water travels through these open voids. Gravity carries the water down these tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of roots.